I'm in charge of the wildland engines. And this summer, we started out around the Meeker area on a wildland fire. Then we were on a remote spike camp in the early phases of the Cameron Peak fire. Then I supported the first round of the Williams Fork fire here locally in Colorado as well. Had some days off and then went back to round two of the Williams Fork fire and then the East Troublesome fire. The importance of communication is huge. It's our lifeline. If we look at accidents and fatalities, it all relates back to miscommunication, lack of communication, some kind of communication breakdown. Our fire personnel, everyone is safe and accounted for at this time. You know, we're very, very fortunate. The East Troublesome Fire started just west of us, but it was along a creek. It was the East Troublesome Creek, that's how it got its name, um, and then violently moved in our direction. It hit 125, and once it actually hit that location, that's when we were really worried about it. We knew the potential for the fuel and everything that was over there, and our fear was actually realized once it did hit that road and how quickly it actually moved towards us. Grand Lake Fire has been on FirstNet for just about a year now. I know my chiefs have been very reliant on you guys, you know, any kind of communication issue that were down, obviously been picked up by you guys. We had communication go down up here. The chief reached out, said, hey, I'm in request of a deployable, at which point the FirstNet team and our local ROG team, which is our response group, was able to provide a SAT call and get it up here deployed within a few hours. SAT codes are designed to provide communication during these fires and these incidents. The other side of it, communication's huge with our family. Um, we need the family support. We need to hear the voices of our loved ones back home. And that key factor is what makes us go the long distance of being away from home. 